slowly but surely, Kide is starting to figure out exactly what he wants, thanks to Gilgamesh, and they're really cooking with that. We also learned that Aedisville is pretty much at the last phase of her life. She's running out of strength. She can't even squeeze Saber properly. That was pretty sad. What other things do we really know? There was a lot of yapping last episode. Just so much yapping to set up kind of the next stage that we're going to go to. But I think the most important thing is like the ID stuff and Kitty's starting to get a will of his own and Tokiomi is on the move. Let's begin today's reaction. Rider. Okeanos. Hmm? Is this the past Rider? It's gotta be. What a kingly snore. Alright. What other reasons does it So heartless. I can't believe they did this. All this art. How could they burn all this beautiful art? of children corpses that I crucified onto these walls, man. I can't believe the audacity. <laughs> Very good question. Yep. How could they still call themselves human? Says Ryunosuke, the person who specifically goes for women and young children. <laughs> it's okay, Ryunosuke. <laughs> Don't fret. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right. It's a cycle. Virtue, bro. How virtuous. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> you might think this is the words of a madman, but is he cooking? God never punishes humans, he simply toys with them. That's definitely one interpretation of all the cruelty that you see happening in the world, and you ask, why would God do this? <laughs> Yeah, what did you do? Give me details. だが、殺せ。気がつけば邪悪の探求は8年に及んで放任され、最後に私を滅ぼしたのは神ではなく、私と同じ人間どもの欲得で私を処刑したのは我が手中にあった富と。Well, I doubt it's simply because they coveted your wealth and land. I want to know exactly what details. What kind of atrocities and blasphemies he created? Well, you can't really prove nor disprove the existence, right? Right now, the interpretation is that God somehow must exist, and since he hasn't punished me for doing all these evil acts and he must be simply toying with the humans. But can you also then assume that God doesn't exist? Again, you can't prove it. It's like the uh, devil's proof where the existence or lack thereof, you cannot prove one way or the other. What is this light casting over them, man? Maybe. Oh, entertainment, remember. The pursuit of entertainment is how you derive pleasure. The whole dialogue with Gilgamesh and Kide. Yeah. The author of the world. I think God hides behind the pearly gates because he too is afraid of his own creations. He probably sees monsters like this and he's realizing, what have I done? Nah, man. 
ってもノリノリで書いてんだと思うよ自分で神様は勇気とか希望とかいった人間参加が大好きだしそれと同じぐらいに Yeah? You think God also enjoys the screams, blood and despair of young children and women? I don't know what to say. 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 Okay, you've lost the plot there. You were kind of cooking with the pseudo philosophy in here and there, but suddenly, yep, God is down for the fresh intestines. Tell Elsa from ReZero that too. Maybe. And again, the crazy shit is, this kid is not a person of faith, or nor has he seen miracles. Actually, summoning caster probably is a miracle. But it's interesting how you would assume evil, despicable serial killers like this would be godless, but he seems to have more faith than perhaps even Kide? I don't know. Wagamaster. <laughs> Details, who cares? <laughs> I mean, these are just too psychopaths. Just. They're justifying all their evil deeds with this made up bullshit logic of what God would allow or disavow. <laughs> yes, both are fine. Somehow, we've done the mental gymnastics to justify blasphemy and faith. Like, everything is good. Good and the bad, everything is entertainment. God must be an entertainer. The villains also must be accepted in this world. Fuck it, let's just go commit more atrocities. Basically, that entire scene, Ryunosuke and Caster, their scenes are always so special, but there's something so interesting in the juxtaposition of good and evil and faith here, of how these... Because you would just consider these people evil. You would consider them just sinners. Yet, they seem to have the most understanding of what God might be in their own distorted way, and they found faith, and now they're justifying all their acts of atrocity as something that God would want. Let's be entertainers ourselves. Like... What the hell just happened, bro? We should make Ryder into a weeb. Int it, like, introduce him to, like, manga, light novels, waifus. I wonder if he would just become, like, an Akihabara weeb. Mm. Yes, What's he gonna buy? Uh-oh. Man, he must stand up so much compared to everyone else. Look at this, bro. He's double the height of most people. He's probably like six foot nine. Just complete redhead bodybuilder ripped out of his mind. People think he might be just fucking like cosplaying or something. <sighs> Alexander the Great Iskander. Chitotta Sendio Chide no Shihai mo Riken mo Subete Jimoto no Gozoku ni Hori nage Mizukaro. That's what the intro scene was. He wanted to see like the edge of the world and he's found Okeanos, I guess. But like the world is, you know, not flat here, though. So <laughs> 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 
You just hear the game, bro. Admirable War Tactics came out today. Let's fucking go. Let's game it. Ooh. Limited edition. You know, luck. You're pretty dirty. You're not. That's it. I'm going to Oh, got oh shit, did he buy the $1,000 PS5? Two controllers? Wow! Oh, come on. <laughs> Gaming man. Uh, your campaign <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> <laughs> stalker? <laughs> you, you fucking stalker? You could just ask me. Well, I mean, I wonder how much the book lies about Iskander because, like, obviously he's gonna know more about himself than what the book is interpreting. <laughs> Was that fake news? やはりどこの誰とも知れんやつが書き変化いつの時代だって権力者ってのは気になるもんだろ He's too busy conquering. Oh. Hmm. Important writer lore, I guess. He was actually super. Well, why am I acting as if this is the real Iskander? I, I, I had to catch myself for a second. Cause this is also Cap. What the fuck would this show know about how true the real great Alexander is? But apparently, he was super tall and very open minded and wanted to go to the world's end, Okeanos, and. Died well, relatively young, and it seems like he doesn't really care about leaving his legacy in these kind of history books, even though it's a form of immortality, but he cares more about what he accomplished at that present time and to just, I don't know. Who cares if a book recognizes his accolades because his noble phantasm has already etched his gigachad vibe to everyone he's faced, allies and opponents? I don't know. Just more characterization of Ryder and Waver. Ah, oh. Inosuke, what are you doing? Oh god, what is he doing? He's standing on water like Jesus Christ. What, what the fuck are about to do? Oh no, man. And I kind of like like them too because of their relationship. It's so positive. Yes, I know what they're doing. I've seen what they've done to other people, but like their dynamic, their vibes. It's like, I got it, bro. Don't worry. It's like, master, show me something cool. Don't worry, Yunosuke, my boy. I will give you the greatest cool. All right, yes. <laughs> Oh god, here we go. What's he gonna do? Make all the fishes in the water? Just all fucking monster fishes? So far his powers, what are they? I don't know, he just like turns children into like crazy carnivorous plant monsters, so... Let him cook. Seems like Ryder dying at 30 or pretty young is making Waver kind of sad. I don't know, he seemed to be impacted about the young death. Hmm. Because at the end of the day, his own reasons for joining this was out of pure vanity of wanting to be accepted after being kind of shit on by Kaneth and wanted to see meritocracy, but now he just got in a, a, a servant that is such a giga chat that can just override everything, so it's not like Waver's deserving of this? 
多分死んでるぞ貴様いいんだよないそう思って僕は聖杯戦争に加わったんだそれが But he hasn't had a chance because Ryder is too giga chat? Like what is it? Waver feels like he hasn't done anything? No, that was you. You said that if you want other people to take you more seriously, maybe grow 30 more centimeters. <laughs> no? That was interesting. The lamplight just turning on there. I don't know. It happens every 60 years. I mean, this is a pretty important event for Waver. I mean, it's a fucking battle royale to the death for most people, and then you get a wish granted. Like, isn't that insane? Waver's gonna have even more insane events in his life? Ryder, are you unsatisfied? <clears throat> Well, Kenneth and Ryder, I'm not too sure if that would have went well. Even if Waiter feels inadequate, it feels like this relationship, even though they might be kind of clashing, it's like life lessons Waiver's learning. He's slowly learning what it means to be like a man, I guess, through Ryder. It's just like great mentor. お。ほれぼず。見てみよう。ここに絵が描かれた敵の隣に我らの姿を描き込んでみよう。られるように。そんなのは無理であろう。いや。これより立ち向かう敵を魔法の天でしかない。そんな二人の聖クラベなんぞ
ランサーとの絆を取り戻せる。私、really? We can get the command spell back? The bonds that we're talking about is the command spell, right? You're assuming that you can defeat him and collect the command spells. What does she do? So, I'll s e my dog, I'll go to the house. I'm a master. This is a good one. She's so damn bad. I'm a good one. 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 Metaphor or really? I mean, what, what Caster's about to do, I could believe him. 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 This is not a death flag, right? I don't think <laughs> this is feeling like a death flag. Good luck. Alright. Saber, Jesus. Saber's driving like Idy. What's he doing, bro? Mm-hmm. What could he be doing? Oh, wait, did the book change color, sir? No, no, no. It's just like the, the purple miasma aura is just wearing off. See, what's a better way to refer to a woman? Holy Virgin from Caster or Onna? Woman from Kide. I don't know which one is more like <laughs> derogatory. Oh, no, what's he cooking up? I don't know, what's he cooking up? I don't know, what's he cooking up? I don't know, what's he cooking up? Yo, am I crazy or is this a different book? I swear to god, the designs of the book is different, the color is different. Didn't this shit used to be gray or black as fuck? Like, why is this gold now? I do remember some kind of girl face in the middle with chains tying down to it. Is this the same book or is this like a separate book? I'm just trying to figure out if Jill is, is like bringing out like his true different stuff. Oh, you, you, you're literally summoning some like Cthulhu sea monster thing. What the hell? He got absorbed. The CGI is crazy. Rider. What? I thought that Rider would call Saber little girl. I don't know. I thought that he doesn't see Saber as a king of knights, a king anymore, right? That's right. It's looking like everyone's gonna gang up on Caster, like what Reese wanted. Will Gilgamesh show up? I don't know. I'm going to go to the house. Get rid of the book. Well, like, what happened last time? It's the book. The book is like a source of infinite mana. Noble Phantasm. We need to get the book, but this dude is now in the monster. Well, I think the book is like a source of infinite mana. Noble Phantasm. We need to get the book, but this dude is now in the monster. So, like, we need like a huge attack to just nuke this thing. Where's Gilgamesh at? Saber. Saber Noble Fan can't even use it. Can Lancer just undo the seal in her arm? I don't know how that's gonna work out. Berserker? No. Is Karigim gonna show up? Probably not. I I Gilgamesh might not even stay up for this shit either. He might just show up just to laugh at everyone else. Maybe Ry- Can Ryder's Noble Fan doesn't take this thing out? How would transporting this huge thing- I feel 
feel like it wouldn't do shit now that I think about it. It's too big for the little soldiers that Ryder has. We can't get his book anymore unless we go in there. How about you just undo the seal on Saber's arm, let us nuke it, and then you put the seal back on if you want to. Just, just a truce. I feel like that is the optimal outcome right now. Oh no. Alright, looking like Lance is the one that's gonna do it. King Arthur has- Saber just has a bunch of bullshit passives. Like, yep, I can just like drive any automobile. It just makes sense. Oh, uh, Lady of the Lake blessing something. So it doesn't matter. I can just walk on water, I guess. <laughs> What are we gonna do? <laughs> Saber Henshin. Lady of the Lake. La Lady of the Lake bullshit. You can just fucking walk on water. The Forbidden Banquet, which I assume is what we're witnessing right now. Caster saying, hey, I want everyone to have their own fill too. So we have arrived at the banquet, but it is forbidden because this dude is summoning some sort of Cthulhu-like monster, bro. What the hell is hap- Wait, wait, wait. Post-credit? Wait, 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 wait. This isn't post-credit scene, right? It's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's check. Yeah, it's post-credit scene. Usually they have like different chess pieces talking and stuff like that, but I was wondering what's going on. But today's episode, more characterization between like Rider Waver, Reno's caster. I genuinely do love these both like uh, servant master combos, like Reno and caster. They're like schizo fucking justification, their mental gymnastics they do about how God still exists, and, and Ryunosuke, a child murderer, a serial killer that just goes around targeting specific children and, and women, is the one that has faith enough to say God does exist, which is fucking crazy, right? It's just like, such an opposite thing you would expect, and then Gillis just being like, oh my god, you are so profound, you're like a prophet, you have now justified all the cognitive dissonance in my mind, and about blasphemy, and now I can offer everything to God right now, we're just gonna be the entertainers, it's like, alright, whatever, sure. And then Ryder and Waver, from the beginning, it's been like a mentor relationship where Ryder's kind of teaching Waver how to be a man, how to really live a fulfilling life, and... You know, he has kingly qualities of being a hopeless idiot, but it's still struggling and moving forward, so that's nice to see. But it's looking like the, the fight, the, it's not a final battle, but it's looking like we're building up towards something huge here. Rise did order the familiars to send out a message saying, hey, everyone gang up on caster, and whoever wins, uh, you will, you'll be given a lot of command spells, right? So, wonder exactly how many people are going to show up. Right now, we have three people here. I don't think Gilgamesh is going to show up. And if he does, will he just taunt? Just doesn't seem right for Gilgamesh to bail us out. Same with Berserker. I don't think Kadia has any incentive to show up and fight this thing. It's in their best interest to sit out. Kiritsugu is probably not going to do shit. I don't see him launching a fucking bazooka at this thing. I don't know. I guess it's just us. And Lancer? We're just going to hope that he's going to use his gay dick and pierce the Cthulhu thing. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.